<laughs> hey guys, this is uh, David, um, and uh, I'm just going to put you a little bit of a tutorial for the newest version of the uh, Game Boy Advance on the TI Inspire. There's videos earlier in this for versions of the calculator that aren't, you know, is, you know, good. So we got the newer version of this calculator, and I will be showing you how this works now. So, we're going to start off by showing you what you're going to need. You're going to need this thing called TNI Inspire Computer Link Software. It's on my left side. And so we're going to make a folder. I have already made one. It's called the Game Boy Advance folder. I put GBA for initials. And you're going to need a couple things. Uh, I will put a link in the description to the download of these things. Um, let's start off with our thing you're going to need the most. And that you're gonna find I put right here in the main screen. It's called NDless or Needless or something like that. Installer. It's a TNS file. If you double click on that, here it probably is gonna be useless. But if we do this on my calculator, uh, we go down to my documents, my lib. Oops, this isn't actually mine. Calculator. Okay. Well, first, we're going to make a, my, put my calculator on here. So, to put this on my calculator, I need to double click on this. Okay, on my calculator, you're going to see here. I'm going to double click this and it's going to open it up and it's going to give me this. Now, of course, mine's on handheld, but once you double click it, it'll say handheld press menu. If you want, you can press H too, and H will give you this little t mini thing that tells you about it. And then on the upper screen, it'll say needless installed. And when that's all done, you can exit out all this. I gotta actually do this off my calculator real quick. Alright, so we're gonna switch over to something else. <laughs> Alrighty, well these are science notes. Um, but anyways, once that's done, it'll tell you that it's installed, it'll say right on the upper left corner of your calculator, it'll say right next to the home button, needless installed. Your home button is right here, by the way. Um, and then once you have that all installed, you want to have your folder, which I'm going to go back to my left screen here, and you're going to want to move everything you need in there. You're going to be included on the folder a Pokemon Emerald GBA TNS. This is uh, just one that I know that works right now. I tried the GTA five or the GTA Advance, and it uh, doesn't work. Another thing you're going to get is your config, your BIOS, your launcher, your resources, your ROMDER, and your config. Now this. Oh, and your needless resources. Um, that sounds kind of funny saying it all together. But um, you, this does support some of the Game Shark cheats. Uh, I just haven't found out how to get those to work yet. But once I do, I will make a video on how that works. Um, so we're going to show you how to install them. So first, you want to go to your folder that I gave you. You're going to look for the file, these files. And then you want to move them into your, since I already have them moved in, I'm going to show you how to do it for the color. Now the color isn't much different, it's only like a new thing. Um, but I kind of wanted to play the new Pokemon, so oops, not what I wanted to do. I add the folder in the wrong place. Yeah, so delete folder one. Now, warning: I don't know if this will void your con your uh, your um, warranty. 
so I can't be held responsible for this. If it does ruin your warranty on your calculator, uh, I am warning though, first. Um, so what we're going to do is, once again, this is for the newish version of um, the TI, uh, TI Inspire. I forgot to mention that earlier. It's 3.06. But anyways, back to the thing. So we're going to install a new folder, and we're going to call this the GBC for Game Boy Color. Now, I'm going to have to actually go off the link to get this. So, this might take me a second here. Alright, so now I got the TI, or the TNS file for the Game Boy Color. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move this. onto my desktop. That's just the easiest for me. Now if you want the color I'll leave that in the link too but I prefer the, the, the advance. So we're going to throw the Game Boy Color onto the G. Now this is less advanced than the Game Boy Color because the Game Boy Color has the launch, the resources, ROMDER, the BIOSes, and all that fun stuff. Well, the Color just has this one file. So now on my calculator, it does say I have it. but it says it's not supported. On the, um, you can't do this on the student thing, I don't know why, but whatever. But on my calculator, it does say that uh, GBC for Inspire version 0 0.91 no ROM files found because I have not installed a ROM file. So, what I'm going to have to do is now go onto the internet and I have a site that I found just for this. It's all in Spanish though, and that's odd, but you can also get, I guess, it says here like the NES and uh, I, I, I'm. I assume this is like the Doom game. I don't know. I can look into that a little bit here for you guys, real quick. Yeah, it, it just gives you some of the um, Doom games here. Um, Counter Strike. Yeah, there's some interesting games here. That's kind of cool. Uh, is that? Yeah. Well, I might have to come on here a little bit. <laughs> All right. Um, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for Game Boy Color games. And I'll, I'll give you this link here. Um, this is also where I got found the files for the game. Boys. So, um, let's see. We got a color. So, yeah, let's, let's get yellow version of Pokemon. And we're going to click this box here. Now, yes, I know this is all in Spanish. And you're probably not going to be able to read it. Uh, unless you speak Spanish. And we got the file downloaded here. And we're going to move this onto our desktop again. Now that's on our desktop. We click on the desktop again. It reloads all the files. And we look for the game. Oops. Okay. So there we are. And that will be our... Game Boy Color, or our Pokemon Yellow, and if it does give you this weird name, you can change the name, just don't change the last part, so we can change this to Pokemon Yellow, preferably no spaces, I, I don't know how well that works without it, so.
if it doesn't say here on the thing that says .tns, it's not going to work. You have to put the little extension at the end. Now that it's found onto my calculator, I can click on it, but it won't do anything. It'll just say documents not supported unless I press GBC uh, Pokemon Yellow dot GBC dot TNS. That's what I got now, and it loads up perfectly fine. Um, uh, by the way, the buttons for it are delete as A, variable as B, shift as start, and I don't really remember what the um, select key is, but I think it's control. It may change on the color. I haven't actually done color yet, and this is kind of cool, but let's find out. Yeah, I think variable is A now and delete is B. But on the advance, it's delete is A, variables B, shift is start. And that's the only ones I use, but on the advance, you can actually find out what the um, button is for it. Thanks for watching, though, guys. Um, if you want to find out a little bit more on how to modify the TI Inspire CX or the TI Inspire CX CAS, uh, just subscribe and uh, like this video, and we'll kind of go from there. Thanks for watching. Bye. And this, guys, is the finished project of the TI Inspire. I just, I'm going to show you the Game Boy Advance finished project here. Comes up here. Not always, but sometimes. If it does, you just want to go down to Documents. Where your games are located and find your game. Oop. Not what I wanted to do. And it'll take a second to load up here, but it will load up. If you don't know if it's going to load up, you can press menu. If it doesn't go to menu, it's going to load up eventually. And then... And then So that's our Game Boy Advance proof. We're gonna go down to exit and we're gonna go down to our color. Show you how that one works. Just click on that. Loading.
So yep, that's it. That's how they all work. Thanks for watching once again, though.